Hey guys, it's Brad Harks, and today I'm going to show you the best way that I found to track calories using a food scale and my fitness pal. So the first step, you're going to need to know the calorie number that you're trying to hit, and that's going to be determined whether you're trying to lose fat, build muscle, or maintain. So you can find that online using an online nutrition calculator, and you're going to want to take a couple different ones, enter in your stats, and take the average number and use that as your number. If you're one of my clients, I'm going to supply this number for you and you're going to want to try to stick to this number for at least two weeks to get a good gauge on whether the weight is moving up or down depending on what we're trying to do. So the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your phone and download my fitness pal here and you're going to hit more, go to your profile and under there you'll see goals, you're going to go to your nutrition goals. And you're going to type in the numbers based on what you were told um, from your nutrition calculator or based off the calories I gave you. Mine are very low right now for my cut. You're going to go back into your diary and this is where we're going to insert everything and I'm going to use tomorrow because I've already done today. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I track a staple breakfast that I always have. It's a whole egg with some egg whites and some spinach. Also going to be adding in some turkey bacon on the side. So first thing we're going to do for this meal is cook up the spinach. So we're going to add the container of spinach on the food scale, hit zero. So when it comes on, it's going to be at zero. So I take out the spinach that I want. We're going for about uh, 16 grams there. So we're going to throw it in the pan and then I can just drop that down in my notepad and track it the waiter. So what I find easiest instead of tracking everything on your phone as you're doing it, is just get yourself a nice whiteboard like this from the dollar store, a nice magnet one, and you just go 16 grams spinach. And that's how we're gonna put together the whole meal. So now that the spinach is all cooked up in the pan there, it's time to add the eggs. So I'm gonna take my one whole egg, crack it in. Oh yeah, and sizzle. And then we're gonna take our egg whites, set it on the scale and then turn it on so it starts at zero grams and we're gonna pour it out into the pan. Kinda eyeball it until we get minus 200 on the scale or however much you're going for. Boom. So next we're gonna add some turkey bacon that I like to have on this side. So this one has a barcode we can scan. So we just go to the app here and we're gonna hit breakfast, add food, scan barcode. And we're gonna go to the back of the turkey bacon, scan the barcode, and we're gonna have three slices. So we're gonna go three total for 90 calories, add it in, and it's right in there with the breakfast. Now I forgot to mention that for the egg whites, I did scan the barcode on the back for the macros. And for the egg itself, I just searched egg in the search bar and I found that the average calories was about 80 calories per egg, and that's what I use. So once you've input it into the app, everything that you need, you can hit um, into your numbers here, right where it says food, and that'll show you your nutrients. So you have 32 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, three of fat, and your macros, and it'll show you the spread and the percentages on the day. So as you populate your diary with your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can get your total daily nutrient goals and calorie goals and all that good stuff right in that section. So another sweet example that you can do with this app is if you go to your lunch, you add food, and say you're going to Tim Hortons because you're in a squeeze, you can just type in Tim Hortons and it'll pop up the menu. And from there, you have everything that Timmy's offers. So for example, you have a farmer's wrap, a bacon breakfast wrap. There you go. It has all the carbs, protein, and calories that you need right there. You can add it right in. So don't be scared to estimate if you have to, or if you don't have your food scale with you, that's fine when you're going out, etc. For example, if you're going home to the parents and they have some lasagna that's homemade, um, you should have a good grasp of tracking after doing it for a few weeks and you can look at your plate and decide whether that's a 300 piece of lasagna or closer to a 500 piece. Another quick tip, um, if in my fitness pal it only shows ounces and not grams, just remember that there's 28 grams in an ounce. So sometimes when you scan something in the app, it's not always going to pop up exactly with the same macros. So just check on the back of the box that it does match up with what it shows in the app. 
And for example, this extra lean ground beef I got from the grocery store here, the scanner code wouldn't pop up. So I just uh, searched in the search bar extra lean ground beef and I found a good average that I can go off of. And as long as I'm consistently using the same one, it's gonna be fine if it's off by a couple grams of protein, fat, or calories. So here's the finished product. We got our whole egg, egg white, spinach, and three pieces of turkey bacon in there. Um, and it's all tracked here in the app. So we got our egg whites, three slices of turkey, whole egg, and spinach for a total of 265 calories, 40 grams of protein, and there you have it. That's how you're gonna track your meals. Of course, add some salt and pepper and whatever you want to the finished product, and there you go. So a good starting point is to just track what you're currently eating using the methods I just showed you. And then from there, you can get kind of a good foundation and a good starting point um, to know kind of where your calorie range is at and you can track what the scale is doing, whether it's going up or down. And last thing I wanna say is just stay consistent. It's not the most fun thing and it is a little tedious to do, but you'll get the hang of it and it does kind of turn out to be a little fun, kind of plugging and playing with your numbers and it's gonna pay off with consistency in the long run.